There's a lot of art in science and also science in art. Albert Einstein once said that all great scientists are artists as well. The strongest mentors I've had in my life have been my piano teacher and the other an incredible scientist. Both music and science involve a certain amount of risk taking. Science and art are about seeing something new for the first time. Both are communicating something deeper about ourselves, something hopeful. It touches you and you understand something that you didn't before because the art has allowed you to. And for a scientist it's the same thing. You look at it and it's so complex and it seems so hard. But then, you know, when you make that break and everything comes together, it's extraordinary. Collaboration is essential in both science and music. In each, you're building off the contributions of others. That's what's unique about our environment here at the Salk. It effectively breeds collaboration. The building is a work of art. In architecture, there's this concept of genius loci. It's a Latin term which means spirit of place. People who come into this place, people who work in this place, are moved by the building to do great things. Music, particularly jazz, is based on improvisation. You have to be able to take bits and pieces of things that you've heard before, you've seen before, and combine them in novel ways. And that's where we come up with new ideas. And it's those new ideas that are really the basis of, of good science and good art. It's always surprising. More frequently than not, there's a little curve at the end of the road that uh, you weren't anticipating. And uh, it takes a little bit of risk to let the road lead you to where it's supposed to go. You can discover a new way of interpreting a piece that nobody else has thought of before. And the same is true in science. Discovering something that you played a good part in doing.